Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you a simple way how we can easily use Invoice Ninja. Invoice Ninja is amazing accounting software and I believe that after finishing this video you will know exactly how to use it. So let's start. When you enter Invoice Ninja application you're gonna see dashboard here. When we're gonna fill everything then the dashboard will be filled too. Now you can go to the top left to the dashboard and click under it clients. First we'll add clients and we will go step by step and you will learn everything. Let's click here new client and now details I'll add number, ID number, that's like the something that you can choose if you want, web number if you have it from Europe, website, phone, so these are the details. Then we have a billing address here, I'll automatically add it. You can also change the shipping address here. And I can add the contacts here to the client. So let's say that it's organization, right? So first name can be add a contact and you can simply add multiple contacts here. And then you can see additional information. Then you have kind of like settings, notes, classify, payment terms, task rate. I'm going to leave it like it is, but you can change it. Now click save. And voila, here we have our first client. So client details, and we can see activity here, invoices, payments, credits. And what you can do is to add the invoice directly to the client in the client's menu. So you don't have to go to invoices and credit there, but you can do it right here with new invoice, also with the enter credit or enter payment. Also, you can simply go to top right and edit client and you can archive, delete or purge. Then you can also view statement, uh, like how is the client performing. The next thing we are going to do are products. Products, click here new product. Now add a product name. Book can be notes. This is a book and I can add a cost like let's say 50. Click save. And now successfully create a product. I can delete the product. I can clone it, invoice or archive. And now click invoices. And let's create our first invoice. We got a product, we got a client. New invoice. And now client. Let's, when you're gonna click on an arrow, you can simply choose. You can view the client or edit the client. You got a due date here. Then you can see personal deposit. If you have it, you just add it here. Invoice, PO number. You can add a discount. And then let's add an item. As you can see, we added the item and it's automatically added here. This is a book, unit cost, quantity one. Public notes, private notes. Terms, footer. You add it here if you want to. And we see it here, okay, we got a book. This is a book, unit cost quantity. When we scroll down below, it's autom we automatically see it here. Of course, I didn't still add my own, my own account information. So what you can do is to simply open settings and edit company details here. So edit like, let's go, so Sunway, And you just company details here and edit street payment type. We can change the payment type here, payment terms, and click save. So this is my recommendation. If you didn't in the beginning add your company details, you can edit right here. And now what I will do, I will just reload the site. And as you can see, it's automatically added the Sunway SRO and the address, right? So I add again client, due date, same process, add item. I can simply mark send, email the on ways invoice and save draft, or I can simply download it. So these are the ways what you can do. And I can do on desktop and look at this, the invoice is on really simple, really easy, right? So this is how we can 
do it. Now you can click on the payments or you can like, let's say save draft. And also let's go mark send. Please confirm your email address. Okay. And now let's go to payments. You can simply click here, enter and enter a payment. And again, you add a client. You can add an invoice. Amount limit can go 50. Payment type can be cash. Payment date, transaction revenue and private notes. You can also convert the currency and click save. So right now we got a payment for our invoice. Payments completely invoices paid. So we got a client, we got the invoices paid for the product. Then what you can do also is to create a recurring invoice. So we come here, new recurring invoice. And you add a client, same thing, same style. Book and you see end date, start date, frequency monthly, two months, three months, four months, six months. End date, when it's going to end. And voila. You got it, right? So it's quite simple. Then you're going to see credits that you can add. Enter credit client again. I can go amount 25. Public notes, private notes, click save. So also the credits are really simple. And when you click finish, it automatically puts you into the client that you added credit to. Then you have a quote here that you can add. So again, same style, new quote, client, book, free books, and we can go mark sent, right? Then you're going to see proposals here. And you can same thing, click on the top right, new proposal. And you have a quote that we created. Template, we can go clean, but you can also create your own. Own template, we'll get to it. And now you can simply edit as much as you want. This is what I like, like it's open source. You can play around it. And yeah, you can add a text, quote, section, grid items, button here, like book. You can then center it. But this is completely new video. What you can do with it. Then you can add also like what you, need, what you should do is to add it like this. And add it to the center. And then play around it. But this is how you can simply create proposals. I don't know if I would use this program because you can get lost in it, like honestly, but you can do it. Then you're going to see projects here. And now we can simply add a new project client. Let's go with name. We can go project YouTube due date can be 28 of February. Budgeted hours can be, I don't know, 20. Task rate can be 30. Private notes and click save. Right after do it. Okay, so this is our project. And now you have options to add a Kanban, time tracker and new task. So let's say that I'm going to add a new task here and I'm directly added to tasks. Description, this is a task and timer or manual and click start. Right moment I'm going to start, it's going to count. And I can see in projects, budgeted hours, click on a project. And right now I can see that our task is counting, right? See? And the time tracker is working really well here. So we can quickly stop or just project. Again, I'm going to click on a project. And now I can go to Kanban style. So we have the backlog ready to do in progress. And the task is just active right now. But what you can do is to let's go to project. Let's click on stop task, archive to delete task or time tracker. And click stop. Successfully stop task. Nice. And in tasks, I can see that we got locked 55 seconds. 
you can simply go to Kanban and just move it. The next thing what I want to show you uh, is expenses. But before we do that, let's add a vendor here. New vendor. Again, same thing. You add a name, you add an ID number, what number, website, phone. Then you're going to see the first name, last name and street and everything. What you can do is just click save. And now let's create expenses. Here you add enter expense. Click vendor. If you have a category, you can add it. A month can be, let's go 50. And client, if you have it, you can add it, right? Mark paid, mark convert currency, billable, click save, right? So this is how you can do it. And this is how you can add expenses here. Then you're going to see reports. That's for pro version. And you can create reporting, aging, client, credit, profit and loss, and export. And it's directly in CSV. So this is how we do it. And now let's go to the last thing and that's settings. So you edit the company details here. You can edit the user details like first name, last name, email. Then you have like dark mode here, localization. The currency, language, time zone, date format, online payments, tax rates, products, notifications, import, export, source. Let's you can add it to something else, like fresh books. Account management, plan free, modules that you can have enabled, PDF settings. You can delete the account here. And then you got advanced settings like invoice settings here. That they have like prefix, custom fields that you can recreate, right? Invoice design. So you can edit like how it's going to look like. Let's say we can go with bold or modern. See, I will like this one here. I'll go with creative, elegant. It's not elegant, I think. <laughs> Hipster. But I really like the modern. And now we can click also customize here. Like this. And you can literally edit as much as you want through the colors, margins and everything. So if you are into HTML and stuff like that, so we can go with a modern quote design. We can go plain or business. You can choose that body font. You can change the fonts here. Page size. Then you got the invoice labels here. Then you can change the invoice label, invoice fields, like what you're going to have actually in an invoice. And product fields, edit that invoice options, hide pay to date, embed documents, and click save. When you're gonna save it, you can simply click again on invoice and click here new invoice. And yep, you see right here. So click settings, client portal, domain. You can have email settings here. Templates and reminders, template of invoice emails that you're going to have. Data visualization. And now we also want to click on the dashboard to show you. You see right here. So we see the activity rules happening. We see the invoice, past due, upcoming, upcoming quotes, expired quotes. And voila, here we got it the invoices and payments. So this is pretty much it. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I wanted to make this tutorial because I think Invoice Ninja is an amazing program. And yeah, have a great day and goodbye. See you.